Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. The White Oak toy collector. Sorry if I had to correct myself. Pennsylvania collector. And we got a whole lot of toys here. A lot of this stuff is vintage, and a lot of this stuff is really old. Like, some of it's from my childhood. Old, you know what I mean? But a lot of this is vintage. From my childhood. Back in the mid-2000s, man. <laughs> but I'm going to go through the big stuff first, because there's so much stuff on this toy haul. First, the, big, the first big item is this plush from 2012. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael, man. <laughs> oh, I know these are from 2012, so I'm so glad to have one of these in my collection. I remember when my buddy Bert found one of those, man. My fellow reviewer, Bert. We got a Imaginex 2012 Gotham City Jail. Man, I am so going to have to add some Batman Imaginex figures to that. Just because it just looks so cool and awesome. Does it work still? I don't know. Oh, it does. It works. The jail cell's open. It works. This is probably the worthwhile piece. And the door's still open. Oh, I'm going to love displaying this. But it will go on review for sure. With some Imaginex Batman or DC. Of course, we got some vintage plushes. We got... Kermit the Frog. He's a vintage plush, but I don't know what year he's from. If you know, leave me a comment. I'm going to throw off the stuff I'm done with to the side over here. We got the Michelin Tire Man plush. He kind of reminds me of Stafe Puff. But he's cool. I'll add him to my plushie collection. We got a Rainbow Dash plush. I do have a thing for My Little Pony plushes, too. I guess I will pick those up. Anything cute and adorable. And this, I think it might be from Lion King or Madagascar. Leave me a comment on that. But this, I definitely know is from Lion King. It's Simba. Simba in the house, man. <laughs> we got an ugly doll. Why did I pick this up? Because I thought this guy was kooky when I watched that movie. It was free, and I watched it. Why not? There I say, why not? Okay, next big thing we got Chicken Little from that movie from Disney, Chicken Little. <laughs> Sorry, my chair is in a weird, awkward position. I think I have to replace his batteries, though. <laughs> we got my favorite Disney character, and our favorite Disney character, mine. It's Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Why not? I love Stitch stitch <laughs> we got a star wars resistance bag oh i had to pick that up because anything star wars i will just grab we'll go through the mini stuff last we'll go through the big stuff bins so we got trolley from mr rogers neighborhood but i remember this from when i was a kid definitely going on my shelf i don't know for what year it's from And it even makes the bell noise a trolley makes. Why not? Dare I say, why not? We got this vehicle I don't know anything about. I think it might be from Turtles or Jurassic Park. But if you know, leave me a comment on this. I know nothing about it. But I gotta think it's vintage. For sure. Eh. Big things in the back. We got a Mr. Potato Head. He's for my Toy Story collection because I'm building up a Toy Story collection because I grew up with Toy Story 1 and 2 when I was a kid. Why not? He's Mr. Potato Head. He doesn't have his ears. It's a real shame. We got this Michael Bay Optimus Prime that doesn't transform, but this is the weapon Weaponizer Prime vehicle. I don't know anything about this, except it's a Weaponizer Prime vehicle. But it's definitely going on my Transformers bucket list here. We got Miles Morales Spider-Man mask. 
That's a cool piece. We got a Minions fart gun. Why did I pick this up? <laughs> because it's hilarious. And I can't help but add it to the collection because it's freaky looking. And it's definitely going to have a place in this collection. <laughs> I love some funny Minions humor. I just do. We got this cool race car that's going on my collection. This sports car. Might have been a remote control at one point. But it's going on my cool car collection. I won't review this. But it's going up. We got a Minions display figure. <coughs> Makes noise. I might add it to my display figure shelf. Which I'm going to do that right now with my other random display items. I always have a thing for displaying things. <laughs> and that's going through my bin right here. We got a Lightyear figure from the new movie Lightyear. I do not have a figure of this at all right now until today. I found this at Aldi's for seven bucks. Worth the money. We got some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers goodness here too. This is the Mastodon Zord. I will be reviewing that. I toss in the uh, bins to do of random figures I'm going to do. So we got some more Zords. We got the T Rex Zord, the Saber Tooth Tiger. We're going to be doing those. Yeah, those will be nice to do. And then display once I transform them and put them in their Megazord mode configuration, which is going to be nice. We got the, the, uh, not Mastodon, Triceratops Zord. So we do got that one. I had to correct myself here. Sometimes I got to think first. We got the Pterodactyl Zord, which is nice. I will be reviewing this whole set. So definitely a lot of stuff we're going to be reviewing for a while now. We got this Magic Wand. Maybe I'll review this because it's pretty cool. And reminds me of something from Harry Potter. Why not? Dare I say, why not? I'm going to have to start a bin for the loose articles. I'm going to start a bin for all the loose, loose things I'm going to be reviewing. All the loose magical and weapon based items I will be reviewing on this channel. We got this Captain America Lego mech. I finally got the complete wave three. So I'm going to be reviewing that too. On my review bucket list. Got some more plushies to do. This unicorn plush, I do like that. And this little rainbow, you know, I'm not going to say what it is because it looks like that guy from Emojis, but all rainbowed. I'm, I don't want to be offensive or anything because I'm not that kind of guy to say anything bad about what he is. We got Lacus Klein. We're going to be reviewing her in July for my... For my Figma collection. She's going to go on my Figma shelf. A lot of vintage stuff here. We got Bumblebee Movie Shockwave. We will be reviewing that. Legacy Skywarp. We'll be reviewing that. Vertebrake or this green repaint of Vertebrake from the Transformers Kingdoms line, we'll be reviewing that. Definitely a lot of stuff to review here on the channel. So I'm definitely going to have a big week of figures to review. And there's a piece of lack of this hair, which I'm going to reattach. There we go. Lack is your fixed hand. Lack is fixed. Good. I don't think I am will review this, but I will be setting up a display with this figure. I will be showing around on Halloween. Because this reminds me of Janine from Ghostbusters by the way she's dressed and the way her hair is. 
because that's just so cool about this figure I found for free along with this little puppy dog figure. And I got a free free figure from Peppa Pig, I think. It's Daddy Pig. I don't know anything else about that except it's not a very interesting show, though. So definitely going to have to go through some stuff. For sure. Okay. Next in this bin, we have a bunch of Pokemon cards. I don't think I'll be reviewing these. They'll just be going in my Pokemon card collection, which I'll be starting a collection for these. So I do got some free Pokemon cards I found. Next, some more big items. We got this Bo Peep from Toy Story 4 because what's my Toy Story complete without Mr. Potato Head and Bo Peep? And she makes noise, so she's definitely going to be reviewed. For sure, along with Lightyear and Mr. Potato Head. We got another piece of vintage goodness. This is from a line from my childhood called Lego Knight's Kingdom. And this is a shield from the, from the toy line. I'm going to be hanging this up and probably reviewing this. Nice piece to review. <laughs> Next, we got a Bowser's Castle. It's missed in a tower, but otherwise, all, all there complete, except for the door and this one tower piece. But I don't mind. It's going to go on my new Mario shelf. I'm going to be starting for just Mario. We're nearing the halfway point, so we're going to be going through this bin of figures. Look at all those figures I got in one bin. That's the mother load of all figure hauls today. So let's go through it little by little. Fast food toy Yoda. I have a thing for Star Wars fast food toys. We got this Skylander. Mm, I might just throw him on the shelf. We got this fast food toy Sandman. He's probably just going to be displayed because he's pretty cool. Got this Mickey Mouse Roadster. Probably just going to throw him on the shelf. I'm not going to review him. On the shelf with that, too. On the shelf with this Fix It, Feel It from uh, Wreck-It Ralph. I might have gotten soap in here by mistake. I should just clean this by hand. Um, an error mistake on my end. Another minion going on the shelf. We got some vintage micro machines. Why not? Not some more Mario. Some more toys that are going to go on the shelf. Some more monster trucks. Because I have a thing for monster trucks. This is going to be for my Janine. Sitting at the table. I got some pieces for that Ghostbuster little display I'm going to be starting. Might have to raise that table a tiny bit with another piece or something. We got this fast food toy freebie, which is a Happy Meal train. I just love that. I love anything train related. <laughs> like I said, I got a lot of toys here that are vintage. We got this firefighter dude. I don't know what year he's from, but he looks pretty cool. But he's an action figure, and I love some action figures. Even if they are knockoffs. Now this is one I think is from Jurassic Park. Because man, this thing is scary, man. My dog Teddy ran into this thing, he'd be screaming. <laughs> we got a Transformers Rescue Bots Optimus Prime. Because I could never resist getting me good old Optimus. <laughs> Whenever I pick up Transformers, I'm always picking them up. <laughs> We got this guy, I think he's from Brother Bear, if I'm correct. And we got this sock em bop em pen, pumpkin dude. He's like, I'm gonna sock em bop em, sock em bop em, yeah. Oh, he lights up? I didn't know that. That is so cool. Another Mario figure. I don't know this guy, but if you know, leave me a comment. I don't know much about Mario, but here's Krusty Krab SpongeBob. 
And as you should know, I am a Nickelodeon kid. <laughs> I grew up with Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, and so many other channels when I was just a kid. You got this little bear figure. He's just cool. We got Charlie Brown. Why not? He's Charlie Brown. We got some Roblox here. I don't know this guy, but please leave me a comment if you know anything about Roblox. We got Sonic. Transparent Sonic. We got this dude. He is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. We got this guy. I think he's, I think he's like a repaint of Yoshi or something. Same species as Yoshi. We got a Mario figure. I do got, I did pick up a lot of Mario. We got another Mario. This is like the powered up Mario. We got this guy. He's one of the enemies. I forget what they're called, but they're pretty cool. He's pretty cool. So yeah, why well, pick them up today? We got a Roblox, and our Roblox I don't know anything about. We got this figure fast food toy from Luca. I toss him in the bin. Another Mario, powered up Mario. Mickey Mouse, just, just gonna be displayed. This Mario probably just displayed. Some of this stuff will be displayed or reviewed. I'll, I will be stating that. We got this Finding Mimo. I don't know anything about Finding Mimo except for the turtles. I thought they were cool. And maybe Dory and uh, Mimo himself. We got another Roblox. I think this Roblox. Minion. Maybe I'll think about reviewing him. We got quite a few minions. We got this little cat girl. I do like that. We got a vintage Disney Chip and Dale. <laughs> Why not? We got the torpedo guy ready to blow away some enemies. <laughs> or bullet guy, I don't know how to pronounce it. We got another Mario. Got quite a few figures to just show off. We got another Mickey. I must have gotten two of those by mistake. I'll probably just throw the extra in the bin. In the donation. We got a Patrick Star from Spongebob. A Bakugan. I love me some Bakugan. We got another minion because I do have a thing for minions and he launches his missile but doesn't come out. We got a horse, the uh, horse girlfriend of spirit right here. She's probably been a little bit worn and chewed up. Probably just will display her from the side, but I will make it goal to review her. We got the monkey holding up Simba from Lion King. Fast food toy. Why not? We got another... My Little Pony Vintage. I think this is another Rainbow Dash. Maybe I will just put her on the shelf. Won't bother showing her off, though. We got this Hulk figure. I'm probably just going to display this because this is pretty cool. Another Roblox superhero on this little, little panda cowboy. <laughs> I pick up some retro figures. A lot of retro. And this is from a Power Rangers line I know very well. This is Power Rangers Ninja Steel White Ranger. So glad to have her in the collection, huh? We got another dog dog figure because I love I love dogs and I love collecting dog figures because I'm a dog person. We got this Jack Jack. I don't know anything about it, but it's from Incredibles. Because Jack-Jack is from Incredibles. Got another one of these guys. He's like a little anime delivery guy. Or repair man. I don't know. Got another Luigi. Why not? He's Luigi. Powered up. I'm ready to kick some butt. We got a Roblox helicopter. Couldn't help but make the helicopter noise. We got... A vintage Scooby-Doo action figure of Daphne. I don't have Daphne. I don't even have the rest of the Scooby gang, but I will collect more of that. We got Sandy from SpongeBob SquarePants. I was a Nickelodeon's kid, and I will always love Nickelodeon. 
We got another Mario. We got this cool looking car. I'm just gonna put this on the shelf. I'm gonna review it at all. We got this monster truck. Just gonna throw it on my car shelf because man, this thing is cool. And I love me some car stuff, man. I kid you not. We got this wand from Harry Potter. I might put the batteries in it and might review it once I get a chance to. We got a goofy car. Just gonna throw it on my Disney random shelf. Another Roblox. <laughs> Got quite a few of those today. Another one. Don't know that character exactly. We got another incredible, and this is Mad Monster Jack Jack. Ready to bite someone. <laughs> he'd bite, he'd scare Teddy, and he'd be like, run! We got the ghost guys from Mario, one of the ghost guys from Mario. Got another fast food toy. I think this is from. Not uh, Penguins of Madagascar. It's from uh, Happy Feet. When I picked that up. I did see that movie. We got a Donkey Kong car. That just looks cool. We got another SpongeBob, and this is Space SpongeBob. Yeah, I am starting more collections as I pick up figures. Yeah. Got Daisy Duck. Donald Duck's girlfriend. I might put her on the shelf. Another Mickey Mouse. This one's quite different. It's gonna go on the shelf. I don't think I'm gonna review him. Another Patrick. Gonna go on the review bucket list. SpongeBob and Gary. Bucket list. And we got Donald Duck too. To go with Daisy. We got a little Syndrome from Incredibles. This is a long toy haul because I grabbed so much figures. This is one huge toy haul. Another figure from Roblox. I think that's pretty cool. Now it's just to the tiny stuff and all the loose stuff. We got a vintage Ninja Turtles Christmas ornament. I might have to put that on the tree and put that up because that is just cool. A Spider-Man mask. It's, it's pretty cool. Throw it in my random accessory bin and Chippendale character. We're getting near the end. I think all that's left is those micro machines and the Minecraft little figures. We got Sandy from SpongeBob. We got some more military grade micro machines. Who micro machines were probably around when I was a kid, but I never picked any up, but I now have some vintage micro machines, man. We got some metal Minecraft. We got Armored Steve. We got that lady character. I don't know her name, but Steve's friend apparently. We got some. We got a creeper. I think that's a zombie. Uh, I think that's another zombie. We got this. Whatever that character is, I don't know much about Minecraft. This I think it's a snow creeper. I want to be specific about it. Another, I think this is an actual creeper. I've heard of what creepers are. We got this guy. If you could tell me who this guy is, I'd be grateful. <laughs> we got a zombie. Zombie Steve. And another one of these guys. Man, I picked up a lot of stuff. Well, that's it. This is the last. We got one last bit of stuff, and then we're done with this huge toy haul. I got for my personal collection a vintage Hot Wheels case. Then I'm going to throw all the Hot Wheels cars I ever pick up or other cars like Matchbox into. Only cool ones that look cool to me. And this is my collection start out. I will now be picking up car stuff. We got movie cars, characters in here. We got this uh, Freddy Van. Scooby-Doo, we got this Batmobile in here. We got this silencer car, I think it's from uh, Acceleracers. We got this one, looking pretty cool. We got this pickup truck, I like that. We got a Mach 5, man, I got a Mach 5 in here now. What else do we got in here? Another Lightning McQueen. That old police car dude, I don't know his name. We got another 
We got Jeff Gordon's car in here for my personal collection, car 24. We got a princess, a princess from Mario car in here. Nice. We got another Cars figure. I don't know this character. Lightning McQueen, vintage. Another version of repaint of Lightning McQueen. Another car. I don't know his name. Another Lightning McQueen's fangirl, if I could say to be correct. Who else we got in here? Uh, let me see. Who else? What else we got in here? We got this cool hot rod cars figure. Why not? So I'll be working on this collection, man. This is my personal movie and cartoon movie cars collection. My goal is to fill this up. So I am starting a collection for these for my fans. Yes, I'll be doing these as well. Every time I go to a store, I'm going to pick up the coolest cars to go in my collection. And that's all there is to say for the biggest toy haul ever on my review channel. If you like this video, make sure to like, make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.